Hi everybody, it's Sam from Cavi and today I'm going to be giving you the best source of information that you will ever need as guinea pig owners. So owning a guinea pig has great responsibility because a lot of people I think are kind of like, oh it's a guinea pig, they're tiny, I don't really need to do a lot with them. There is a fair amount of care when it comes to guinea pigs. <laughs> Especially when you're first owning one because you have so many questions and a lot of the times finding an answer is really really challenging um, because one website will tell you one thing, something else will tell you another thing and you don't really know what to go for. So everything's contradictory, you can't find the right information, you don't know if you trust that, that information. So over here at Cavi we have created this video, um, there is also a blog post that this is inspired from so if you'd rather read and not watch. I won't take it personally, we can go ahead and go do that, but it is based on a blog post. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Basically, we've made this video here to help you choose the trustworthy ones. So everything in this video is beneficial and trustworthy and you can trust the sources where they're coming from. So that's our research bit done a bit and now it's just my job to tell you exactly what it is. <laughs> so this one has a little bit to unpack, so get comfy, get a drink, and let's dive in. So the first section that we're gonna cover are forums. So number one is the guinea pig forum. Nice, simple, we remember it. <laughs> this is a really great place to find help and support from other guinea pig owners. And you have absolute free access to any informational threads. Um, they have tons of them and you have, like I said, free access. Um, if you want to comment on anything, so if maybe if someone's asked a question and you think, oh my gosh, I, I know the answer to this. Um, all you have to do is make a free account as well. So there's no cons to this, it's all pros. <laughs> the next forum we're going to talk about is Weakers. So this is a good community-based forum, uh, once again offers tons of informational care. They also have an entire section called Cabby Care which is just dedicated to everything guinea pig care related. So you'll get your answer from that one for sure. <laughs> cool, the next section is the best magazines and we actually only have one on here right now. Um, if there's any more that you absolutely love and that you read frequently and you think, yeah, this has not given me bad advice ever, let us know in the comments because at the moment we can only find one. And that is Guinea Pig Magazine. Once again, strong fitting title, fits the bill, all we needed. <laughs> so it's a really vibrant and colourful magazine, um, which isn't even the important part. The important part is that it focuses very heavily on guinea pig care. And there's also a really nice part, um, there's a dedicated part that has Ask the Experts. So your question or anybody else's questions will be answered by the team. So maybe if you think that your question is quite common, it might not be, and if you send it off, it could help hundreds of other people too. The team are really, really dedicated. There's a really nice part in there as well where they um, have information about shelters and rescues too. Cool, the next section is YouTube channels. So number one is Saskia Guinea Pig Rescue. The legendary Saskia has years of experience with guinea pigs and not only is she running LA Guinea Pig Rescue, she is also uploading guinea pig informational videos on her YouTube channel. This woman is unstoppable. <laughs> The range of videos are really, really wild. They're so educational and it's definitely a YouTube channel to check out. Number two is Scotty's Animals. So this is another fun and informative YouTube channel. Scotty actually has several guinea pigs himself and he prides himself on working with uh, rescue guinea pigs too, which is very, very sweet. The information that he gives is not only obviously informative, but it's also really fun. He's just an entertaining kind of person. So if you're interested in finding someone new, you probably already know about Scotty's animals if you're into guinea pigs. I would think so. <laughs> yes, but his videos, um, like I said, informative. They range from bonding, behavior, DIY, general advice. And they're just, a, he's just an all around fun lad. <laughs> Number three is Little Adventures. Little Adventures is the most adorable educational guinea pig YouTube channel ever. Julia, the actual creator behind Little Adventures, um, documents just everything. I mean, she has, uh, there's advice about how to travel with your guinea pig, uh, things to look out for if your guinea pig's feeling unwell, what do you do? And she also has vlogs with her guinea pigs. So uh, like, not daily vlogs, but like the daily life of guinea pigs and things like that. So that's really cute. That's just really cute things just to be like, oh. Hello, I lost footage, so here I am. <laughs> okay, so carrying on with YouTube channels, we do have another one. Number four, we have Skinny Pigs One. 
With over 900 videos, it is no wonder that Skinny Pigs One is a valued guinea pig community member. <laughs> she features her own guinea pigs and skinny pigs and she makes amazing, inspiring, educational videos on how to properly care for your guinea pigs as well. So if you haven't checked it out yet, which you probably have, but if you haven't, check out Abby's channel. It's really amazing. It's really inspiring actually as well. So that's another one for you to check out. So that was YouTube channels and now we're gonna go on to the next section, which is books. So number one is The Proper Care of Guinea Pigs by Peter Gurney. So this hard book contains comprehensive advice on lots of different things like handling, bonding, uh, feeding, grooming, everything guinea pig care. So this is a really good one for beginners and advanced guinea pig owners if you haven't read this one yet. This one's a really good one to check out. So this one I actually have to read because it's a little bit of a long title. Um, so it's Guinea Pigs, The Essential Guide to Ownership, Care and Training for Your Pets and that's by Kate H. Pelham. Research for me is really important when you're owning a pet, um, regardless of what pet it is, guinea pig, dog, cat. Um, having a basic idea of what your pet may require is really important because you don't want to jump into something too deep and realize that you can't give it the care that you want and then you have to kind of go through the trouble of rehoming and reshelter. Um, so having a really good understanding of what you're getting yourself in for is really good and this book is perfect for that. So that should be everything that I lost in the other one. Sorry about that. Let's go back to the other Sam. <laughs> the next section is the best websites. All of these websites in their entirety are really beneficial in one way or another. There's no kind of ranked in between of what, what's good and what's not. They're all really excellent in the information that they give. Okay, so website number one is Guinea Piggles. The name is just fantastic, really. <laughs> so this website is a really great source of information for guinea pigs diet. So they've got about, um, they have lots of videos between three to 10 minutes of just specific types of food for your guinea pigs. They also do pro pros and cons, so they kind of weigh up the differences as well. Basically, this website is a really great way to see the specifics, uh, pros and cons with the types of food that you give your guinea pigs. Number two is Guinea Pigs 101. So this is a blog created by a man named Saurav. I am so sorry if I haven't pronounced that right. He is an animal nutritionist and a guinea pig owner. So in his blog, he's actually noted before that he too has struggled with finding the correct answers and things that he can trust online. So he's made his own. <laughs> brilliant <laughs> and done a variety of different blog posts of guinea pig care number three is online guinea pig care so with this particular website there's several more categories of care and you can navigate really really easily between various pages with whatever information you require number four is guinea pig care well, with a self-explanatory title like that. Um, this particular website involves a comprehensive page called Piggypedia. <laughs> it's got extensive knowledge on specific guinea pig care. So if none of the other websites have it, which are doubtful, I bet they do, uh, this one will. This is a really good website for guinea pig beginners as well. Number five is Guinea Links. This website offers a comprehensive medical guide to your guinea pigs, essentially. So this is a really good one if you want to learn more about like specific illnesses or conditions or any health issues that your guinea pig could have. Um, I think it's always a good idea to do a little bit of research of what common issues happen with some pets and that way you've got a bit of um, beneficial knowledge to be like, oh, actually, I know I've heard of this. It doesn't require a vet, but it will require this assistance instead. Number six, we have the PDSA, which is the People's Disciplinary for Sick Animals. This is one of the leading authorities for pet well-being. They offer advice and information on um, proper care, homing, bedding, uh, shelters, and everything along those lines. So really good one to check out. Number seven, we have the RSPCA. The RSPCA is a very well-known charity in the UK that advocates for animal welfare. Um, on their website, they actually offer a free fact file for your guinea pigs too, um, so you can learn a little bit more facts about your guinea pig, should you want to. <laughs> hopefully this video has helped you find any answers that you need, and hopefully you have more answers than questions. 
Um, that's kind of what this video was really about, is that you, should you have any questions, all of the things that I have mentioned are trustworthy um, and you can go to for advice should you not know the answers yourselves. And don't forget, over here at Cavi, we do also have downloadable care sheets that you can use too. I didn't want to put ourselves in there, that'd be weird, wouldn't it, if I was like, we're going through all these amazing websites and then I'm like, number seven or number eight, Cavi. <laughs> But should you want to, we are also a great site as well that offers very good information. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all for the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us on Insta and I will see you all next time.